What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be reviewing two of the four new Huda Beauty Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. A couple of weeks ago, at the start of the annual Sephora Beauty Insider sale, I was surfing through their website picking out the products that I wanted to purchase with my discount, and I came across these little eyeshadow palettes. And I hadn't seen them before, so I figured that they were just released. I don't own the Huda Beauty Rose Gold or the Desert Dusk palette, but the Obsession eyeshadow palettes retail for $27 each, so that was a little bit more in my price range, so I decided to get a few of those to play around with them. There are four palettes that were released. The first one is the Mauve Obsessions palette. The second is the Electric Obsessions palette. The third is the Smoky Obsessions palette. And the last one is the Warm Brown Obsessions palette. The two that I bought are the Mob Obsession and Electric Obsession palettes. Like I said, they each retail for $27 on both Sephora.com and ShopHudaBeauty.com. I'm going to read you the general description of all four of the palettes on Sephora.com. It says that each Huda Beauty Obsessions eyeshadow palette is packed with a selection of nine highly pigmented mattes and striking shimmers, all with a smooth and blendable texture. Available in four color themes, warm brown, mauve, smoky, and electric obsessions, the palettes are super compact and lightweight, making them a must-have for your handbag. The large mirror, conveniently sized palette, and versatile shade collection allow you to create both classic and playful looks that are easy to apply on the go. Now I'm going to insert some swatches of the two palettes that I do own, along with some pictures of the two that I don't. The Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions includes six pigmented mattes and three gorgeous shimmers in dusty rose and plummy hues to create a soft, natural finish for a smoky, sultry effect. The Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions offers six bold mattes and three shimmers in bright blues, electric yellows, and neon pinks. Creating dramatic, show-stopping looks is now effortlessly achievable with just one palette. The Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions will instantly bring light and warmth to your look with Huda's go-to palette, packed with eight mattes and one shimmer in heated tones of browns, reds, oranges, and copper. The color range flatters any skin tone and any eye color. The Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions masters the ultimate smoky eye or staple nude look with this range of four mattes and five metallic shimmers, including an intense black, warm shades of dark brown, champagne, gold, and silver. And Huda Catan, who is the brand founder for Huda Beauty, says that these are really condensed eyeshadow palettes, but you get so much product. I'm obsessed with the warm brown and smoky palettes. They're both full of the most gorgeous, buildable colors that take your look from day to night easily. The Mauve Obsessions palette is the makeup essential that everyone needs to create everyday looks with the sultry edge. The Electric palette features super bold colors that are still really wearable, so you can create amazing, understated looks. I really wanted to give people the option to have fun with as many colors as possible without having to invest in individual shades. It was all about giving color junkies everything they need in a compact way. And each of these palettes are formulated without parapins and are perfect for every skin tone. So for today's eye look that I created here, I focused mostly on the Electric palette, only using a few shades from the Mauve palette. But my last video that I did put out reviewing the Wet n Wild brush set, which I will link below, I did use the Mauve palette. So if you are interested in seeing how the Mauve palette performs, then you can definitely check out that video. But for today's video, we're focusing mostly on the Electric palette. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer and we are going to start the eye look. First, I'm gonna go into the Mauve palette with this like white, off-white color, which is a perfect shade to set my lids with since I am pretty fair. And then I'm gonna go into the same palette for a transition shade and use the center shade in the middle there, just so that when I go in with shadows from the electric palette, they blend together a little bit easier. I'm now gonna go into this palette here. I think I'm gonna use this red shade at the bottom these two shades at the top. I think for my lower lash line, I might go in with like a pop of like orange color and see how that works because I've never really done that before. So I'm gonna use a slightly more dense brush to go in with the red shade right here. And right away, there's just a lot of pigment that picks up. And I'm gonna go right in. A little bit lower than where I put that transition shade. There is a little bit of fallout right here if you can see, but that's not a big deal, I'll just Going in, swipe that away. I'm 
I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush and pick up the fluorescent purple shade at the top. I'm not loving the fallout on this palette. Now I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and go in with that purple shade. Ooh. Do you see all of that fallout? I'm gonna see what wetting my brush does. Definitely goes on less messy and more pigmented when wetting your brush. I think instead of using another color to go in underneath my eyes, I think I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the purple, just on the outer edge. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some falsies and be right back. So overall, I really do like the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. I think the shades are really pretty, and as you saw in the video, they do blend really well together. If you're looking for a relatively inexpensive palette that has a lot of pretty bold pops of color, then I would recommend this. I do like the versatility of the matte and shimmer shades. The only thing I would say is that there is a decent amount of fallout, but it did go away very easily when I brushed it away with the powder brush. So it's not really the end of the world. No one likes fallout, but as long as it cleans up easy, I can work with it. Because I do think that these shades are very beautiful. And I am the type of person that likes a pop of color, at least just on the lower lash line. So I think I would be reaching for this quite often. And I think over the next month, I'm going to treat myself to the other two palettes so that I do own the entire collection. So that is it for today's video. I again want to apologize for the audio in this video. I mentioned it about two videos ago, but I am having some technical difficulties with my external microphone that I'm in the process of getting replaced. So for the time being, I'm just using the audio that's on my camera, which isn't the worst. But, you know, it could be better, so I'm working on that for you guys. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please take a minute to hit the subscribe button below. Not even a minute, it takes like two seconds to hit the subscribe button. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post videos. I do post videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Friday. That being said, keep your eye out for this coming Friday's video. I'm going to be doing a monthly favorites of November. That's going to include like makeup products and not makeup products and food and just a bunch of stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. So keep your eye out for that and thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in Friday's video.